Hey everyone, my name is Olaf and in this video we're going to take a look at the Flip Fluids add-on and you'll see how it works and what you can do with it. As always, it's going to be quick and easy, so uh, let's get started. Okay, so let's first take a look at the installation process for the add-on. So uh, we're going to go into preferences and then install the uh, zip file that we got with the add-on. So I'm going to go into downloads and then select the uh, Flip Fluids add-on and then enable it. And before the add-on fully works, we need to uh, restart Blender, as you can see. So uh, I'm going to uh, quit Blender and then reopen Blender again, like this. And then we have the uh, Flip Fluids fluid settings. So uh, let's open one of the uh, test files. If you want to create your own simulations as well, I have a tutorial on how you can create fluid simulations with uh, Flip Fluids on my channel. But in this video, I'm going to focus on the features and uh, on the uh, different types of results that you can um, achieve with this add-on. As you can see, the uh, settings for the Flip Fluids add-on are very similar to the built-in fluid simulation settings in Blender, except it's much more powerful, accurate, and produces much better results. So uh, if we, uh, for example, take a look at the inflow, you will recognize the uh, initial velocity, the uh, inflow type, the sub-steps, emissions, and so on. And uh, the obstacle is also called an obstacle in uh, the Flip Fluids add-on. So if you already know the uh, default physics simulation settings in Blender, you can easily use this add-on. And uh, this is what it looks like when it's baked. It's probably going to take uh, maybe an hour to uh, bake each of these uh, test simulations. And uh, now we're going to take a look at the uh, second included file in the add-on. There are a lot of different uh, types of uh, presets that you can get in uh, the Flip Fluids add-on. And uh, in the previous file, we had sort of a slimy preset, but uh, this is more of a watery preset. And this time, the uh, water is just uh, the fluid type and not the inflow, which means that it's not a uh, continuous inflow of water, but uh, just the... Uh, water that is equivalent to the size of the mesh. So I'm going to uh, bake the simulation. And you can also increase the resolution if you want a uh, better quality simulation. And after maybe an hour of baking, we get uh, this result. And the way you set up the materials and the lighting is obviously the same as in the default fluid simulation settings so uh, I'm just going to uh, play around with the uh, different materials so uh, I'm going to uh, delete this one and uh, just the uh, principal shader gives us uh, sort of a uh, milky type of material so I'm going to change the text and use a uh, glass shader for the uh, fluid. And make the uh, text blue. And uh, then make the background a little bit brighter and set it to diffuse instead of principled and I'm also going to decrease the roughness for the water. You might want to change the IOR to uh, 1.33 uh, as well to uh, give the correct IOR for the uh, water. Okay and uh, then for the render I'm going to use a uh, large tile size as I use the GPU 
and I'm also uh, going to select a uh, folder, set the resolution to uh, 4K, which is 200%. Uh, and then I need to select a folder for the final animation. For uh, such a uh, heavy render, I prefer to use PNG images. So I'm just going to create a new folder give it a name and then select the folder and then give the animation a name I'm just going to call it toots and then you can render the simulation so i'm going to go back to solid view then go to render and then render image and uh, this is what it looks like after uh, a few minutes of rendering and now I'm going to render the uh, whole simulation. So I'll set the compression to around 90% because it's 4K. And then render and then render animation. And this is the result. Okay, so uh, next I'm going to take a look at the uh, strawberry test file, which is also included. And uh, this one is uh, just fluid with the initial velocity like in the previous file, so uh, there's no continuous inflow. I think the uh, chocolate preset is already assigned to the uh, fluid simulation, so I'm not going to mess around with that. And uh, once the baking is done, you can see that we get this cool chocolate fluid simulation effect. So uh, let's take a look at the lighting and the materials. The cool thing about this chocolate material is that it uh, requires very few samples to look great. So I'm just going to set them to uh, 30. And uh, I'm also going to increase the resolution to 4K and Shift A and add a plane for the uh, back of the uh, simulation. And then G to grab and then RX90 to rotate it 90 degrees on the uh, X axis. And then I'm going to add a material as well and uh, make it, uh, I think I'll set it to uh, an emission type like this. And then we can go to one of the later frames and uh, do a uh, test render. I'm going to speed up the uh, rendering setting part because uh, we have already looked at it and uh, that's not really the point of the uh, video either. So uh, let me do a uh, test render. So go to render and then render image. And uh, as you can see, it looks great. So uh, let's go back to the uh, viewport and then render the whole simulation slash animation. So I'm going to uh, go to render and then render animation. And as you can see, it looks great. There okay. are a lot of cool files and uh, projects made with uh, flip fluids. So uh, make sure to check them out on uh, Blender Market. The link will be in the description. And as you can see, the add-on is very popular. It has about 4,500 sales and uh, a lot of new updates coming as well.